Okay guys, I soaked my potatoes whole for a while and then I scrubbed them with this little brush. And now I've cut them into chunks. These are the red potatoes that we got at uh, Produce. And I'm going to boil them tender. And I'm gonna make stewed potatoes. And uh, when the potatoes get done, tender, I'm gonna come back and show y'all uh, how to do that. Y'all, they are great with uh, green beans and um, cornbread or fresh corn. That's some of my favorite ways, some of my favorite things to eat them with. Um, of course, fried chicken, but since I have a doctor's appointment Monday, I better pass on the fried chicken, but I might do some of my vegan chicken in the air fryer uh, to go with them for supper. But I'm just gonna show y'all how to do um, stewed fresh red potatoes. Okay, so we have them in our pot and my, my pan's clean and nobody's gonna eat them but me anyway. Uh, I think nobody but me, nobody's coming for dinner and I'll have the leftovers tomorrow in between the girls' ball games. So uh, that way I'll have something good to eat with whatever I cook to go with them. I'm gonna cook enough that I can just warm my uh, food up tomorrow because we have, if it don't storm, it's supposed to storm and we may have to have, we were already having a double header tomorrow from another rain out. So uh, it is supposed to storm here tomorrow, but hopefully, hopefully they'll get to play some of those games and they won't get too behind because they're having one almost every night trying to do makeup games from the, from the rain. Anyway, these are on the stove. I have them on high heat right now, bringing them to a boil. When they get to a boil, I'm gonna turn them down on medium low. We're gonna let them boil. Everybody knows how to boil potatoes, I hope. You take a fork or something and stick in them uh, to see if they're tender. When they get tender, I'm gonna come back and show y'all how to make the sauce or the white gravy that goes over these potatoes. Okay, I added onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. I'm not gonna give you measurements. Uh, this is a two quart uh, saucepan. So uh, your, your seasonings will be according to the amount of potatoes you're cooking. Uh, you can cook, you know, like a quart pot, a small pot, you know, just make a small amount, but I want enough for today and enough for tomorrow. So, uh, it, it's going to depend, the seasoning is going to depend on the amount of potatoes, but you can add any seasoning that you like in potatoes. Season it to your taste. If you just want salt and pepper, or if you just want salt, that's great, just whatever seasoning you want or your family likes. Okay guys, our potatoes are tender. I have a few spoons of flour. You can also use cornstarch. I'm gonna start stirring in milk. This is boxed milk from the food pantry. Actually, I just emptied a box making some cornbread and stuff. Corn I got some cornbread in the oven. You'll probably hear the timer. Whoops, sorry, I didn't know I blocked the view. So we're just gonna make a slurry, and this is gonna be to thicken our potato broth where our potatoes have boiled. And uh, I wish you could smell my house because it is smelling really, really good. I've got some fresh tea brewing. have some uh, vegan chicken tenders or chicken nuggets in the uh, air fryer and I have some cornbread in the oven. Okay, our, our chicken tenders are done. Don't those look delicious? That's vegan chicken tenders. Okay, we got those ready. So we're going to stir in our 
slurry. So we don't want it lumpy, but we want our broth to get thick. Alexa, stop the timer. That's my timer for a uh, that's my timer for my cornbread. So we're gonna let that simmer for a minute and that's gonna get thicken that uh, potato broth up. And that's gonna be our stewed potatoes and that's why I made me some cornbread because this is just some good old country eating. I've got me a, uh, I've got some shell pasta cooking behind you and I'm gonna put some uh, white American cheese on the pasta. This is our shell pasta and I'm gonna make me some macaroni and cheese. And let's see if we can get our cornbread out of the oven. There's our cornbread. So when I get all this plated up, let me get this oven off. Ooh, it's really hot in here. Uh, when I get all this plated up, I'll come back and show y'all what it looks like. Ooh, look at that pan of homemade cornbread. Don't that look good? Ooh, I'm fixing to put me some vegan butter on that and enjoy my meal. Oh, it smells so good in here. Okay, guys. Here's my plate. Homemade cornbread, stewed fresh red potatoes, homemade mac and cheese with white cheese, mac and uh, uh, cheese shells, and these are my vegan uh, chicken nuggets. My vegan chicken. As y'all can see, it looks like chicken and it tastes like chicken and it has a crispy, crispy, crispy. Those are done in the air fryer. So, no green vegetables. I will drink some in a shake. When I don't eat them, I'll drink them. But this is going to be my meal because I've been eating greens for every meal for something. So this is going to be my meal, one of my meals for today. So uh, I thank God for the food bank because that's where most of my food uh, comes from and out of my garden. So I thank the Lord for that. Y'all be blessed. Know you're loved. Jesus loves you more. And uh, get in the kitchen and cook you a good meal because you're worth it. Yes, I made a mess and I have dishes to do. I'm worth it. My health is worth it. If you do not have time to cook your food, you need to slow down and enjoy life. You need to slow down and figure out how to enjoy life because fast food is killing people.